Welcome. Here at the Federal Aviation Administration, our mission is to provide the safest, most efficient aerospace system in the world. And our entire organization is structured to do just that. You'll see in this video how we work together to ensure that we achieve this important mission. Let's take a look at how it happens. First, let me explain the magnitude of what the FAA does every day. There are up to 5,000 aircraft in the air at any given time. Each day, our air traffic controllers safely handle nearly 44,000 flights. This adds up to almost 2.6 million passengers every day and 9.7 million scheduled passenger flights per year. Here is a high-level, simplified overview of the FAA's primary operational, technical, and regulatory organizations. The Air Traffic Organization, or ATO, ensures the safe movement of aircraft in our airspace. The ATO comprises about two-thirds of the FAA population, or nearly 30,000 employees, including more than 14,000 air traffic controllers. If we examine a typical flight from, say, San Francisco to New York, we can see how all the parts of the ATO work together. From the start of any flight, it's under the watch of the Airport Traffic Control Tower, which provides clearance for takeoff, then follows the departure on the first few miles of its flight. When the aircraft leaves the immediate airport environment, it is handed off to a Terminal Radar Approach Control Facility, or TRACON. Controllers at TRACONs handle traffic for a radius of about 40 miles and up to 10,000 feet high. Once the aircraft climbs beyond the TRACONs airspace, it is handed off to an Air Route Traffic Control Center, there are 24 centers across the country in the Pacific and the Caribbean, each handling a designated segment of airspace. At the end of the journey, the opposite process happens. The aircraft descends down to the receiving TRACON, then to the airport tower as it lands and taxis to its gate. Each major airport has a tower where controllers monitor all aircraft taxiing, taking off, and landing at the airport. Each control tower owns the airspace up to 3,000 feet above and a radius of five miles around the airport. Controllers in TRACONs monitor aircraft in departure, descent, and approach. TRACONs can handle air traffic for several different airports in an area. The 24 centers monitor aircraft during cruise altitude. Controllers here sometimes handle dozens of flights at once. It's not just about the safe control and operations of the flights themselves. The ATO also includes nearly 10,000 employees who certify, maintain, and restore air traffic facilities and equipment. Technical Operations, or TechOps, maintains navigational aids, electronics, buildings, and grounds. These men and women assure service availability and reliability, and they support expansion and modernization through engineering, planning, design, and installation of new systems. Our air traffic system depends on the infrastructure we have on the ground. If we don't have adequate airport infrastructure, then that becomes the weak link in our aviation system. The Office of Airports, or ARP, provides leadership in planning and developing a safe and efficient national airport system. ARP helps identify, plan, and fund critical airport infrastructure, such as runways. They also ensure this infrastructure is built, maintained, and operated safely. In this process, they consider economic and environmental impacts, preserve local proprietary rights, and protect public investment. The FAA's Aviation Safety Office, known as AVS, keeps our airspace safe by inspecting, certifying, and developing standards and policies that affect aircraft and their operators. AVS directs and manages safety programs for pilots, aircraft, and airlines in three primary areas. Standards and policy, certification, and continued operational safety. At all times, the FAA must ensure our nation's air traffic control system infrastructure is safe and protected from security threats, and that passengers are safe from potential hazardous materials. This is the responsibility of our Office of Security and Hazardous Materials, or ASH. These men and women conduct investigations, emergency planning, and incident management. ASH also ensures the security of FAA facilities, personnel, and information. Now that we've highlighted our air traffic control system, let's take a look at some emerging technologies that are reshaping our system and expanding our responsibilities. A new and exciting entrant into our airspace is Unmanned Aircraft Systems, or UAS, commonly called drones. The UAS office within AVS works collaboratively to safely integrate drones into civil airspace. 
by devising rules to ensure that they can safely share airspace with manned aircraft. Our Office of Commercial Space Transportation, called AST for short, works to protect public property and both the national security and foreign policy interests of the United States during commercial space launches and re-entries. AST also encourages, facilitates, and promotes U.S. commercial space transportation. Across the FAA, we are working to modernize the national airspace system, converting ground-based systems that support air traffic to satellite-based technologies. We are implementing the key technologies that are enhancing our airspace, such as new communications, navigation and surveillance capabilities, a data-sharing backbone, and improved weather processing and distribution systems. Beyond all the operational and technical roles at the FAA, there are thousands of people whose jobs are also very important from lawyers and doctors, contracting officers and HR specialists, to logistics, communications, policy, financial, and administrative staffs. These men and women ensure that programs, policies, and organizational functions behind the scenes are carried out with the utmost effectiveness to make the entire system work smoothly and safely. From providing safe flight, to promoting advanced navigation technologies, to integrating new entrants, and much more, the FAA maintains the global gold standard for aviation. We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned about the critical role the FAA plays in overseeing the safest, most efficient aerospace system in the world.